So we've learnt about environments so far. Environments. And the next thing we're going to talk about is a similar idea, which is related to environments, which is called ecosystems. So an in, where an environment is just the physical area, and we can look at the living and the non-living parts of the area, the biotic and the abiotic factors. Biotic and abiotic factors. An ecosystem is looking at how do those factors in the environment interact with each other. So an ecosystem is all about interactions. So we can say an ecosystem is a system of organisms, of living things, interacting with each other, each other, and with the environment around them as well. And the environment. And what we're going to do is look at this example environment, which we can see here is, we would call this a woodland. This is up in northern Victoria. You can see the nice red soil, which is all around in Victoria and in the middle of Australia. So if we're looking at this woodland and we're thinking of it as an environment, all we're doing is looking at what is there. And we've learnt about these things already. We can talk about biotic and abiotic factors in our woodland. So some biotic factors would be, we can see there are some trees, eucalyptus trees, there are grasses closer to the ground. We know there would be some insects living in there and other animals too, maybe reptiles like lizards and snakes. And some of the abiotic factors we can see would be the weather, the soil and other things like nutrients which are found in the soil as well. So the environment itself is just looking at what is there in that area. But now when we start thinking of an ecosystem, we will still call it a woodland ecosystem. But now we're looking at how do all of these factors, how do these things interact with each other? And some examples of interactions would be things like how much rain actually falls into the soil and is absorbed. And then how much of that rain gets taken up by the tree's roots. And then another interaction might be how much of the tree's leaves gets eaten by herbivores, by other animals that eat the leaves. And once those herbivores have eaten the leaves, how much do predators come along and eat and attack the herbivores for their food? So we can see there are lots of different interactions that happen in an environment, which makes it into one big system, which we call an ecosystem. So the final thing to remember is that an ecosystem all these things interacting together, we call a system. And one final word to learn about for today is biosphere. And so here's a picture of the Earth from space. When we think of the whole Earth as one big ecosystem, we call that the biosphere. So the biosphere is the whole world 
as one ecosystem.